as a video editor, I'm sure you have seen these type of match cut effects and they genuinely look crazy. To create this effect, it would usually take you a lot of time. But in this video, I'll show you a technique on how you can create this effect pretty easily using AI. So let's hop right into this tutorial and I'll break it down. In this tutorial, we'll be using this website called ltx.studio. It's completely free to use and I'm not sponsored, so you know that I'm not biased. And when I open up the website, I'll go down to the generate images and I'll click on that one. And in here, you can just type out a prompt of what you would like. But for the best results possible, I'll be using ChatGPT. So I'll open up ChatGPT and I'll tell it to write me a prompt for ltx.studio where I want to create a close-up shot of a female wearing golden grills. So I just wrote a pretty detailed prompt and told it that I want to create a prompt for ltx.studio where I want to have a close-up of a female wearing golden grills. And I want the picture to be shot in a low aperture with a blurry background in a city with a bit of rain. But that's not supposed to be too visible since the female's teeth should cover about 80% of the screen. Yo, sorry to interrupt. I just want to let you guys know that I just dropped a new version of my VFX kit plugin with over 150 effects that you can preview and simply apply with one click. And this version of the plugin doesn't require any third-party plugins. And we also have a launch sale going on, so it's $40 off. So make sure to go and grab it before the sale is over. But let's get back to the video. And now it's writing me a prompt and this isn't really necessary this is just because i want the best results possible so that's why i use an ai to help me write a prompt for another ai because i think i got a comment like that like people clowning me in one of my other videos like oh he's using ai to use ai like yeah the fuck that's how you get the best results but yeah i pasted the prompt in here and i'll just uh, let it generate all right so we do have some pretty good results right here but that's not really what i was looking for so i'll open up ChatGPT once again so i just told it that i want the shot from an eye level so the teeth in the middle of the screen and not at an angle as you can see that we have right here so now I'll copy this new prompt and paste it in here so i did redo the prompt a little bit and just kept going till i got some good results and this might be the best one that i've gotten so far so i'll be downloading that one and then click this iterate button right here and then i'll just keep everything the same only thing i want to change is the location so change location to let's just go for japan and let's see what we get it, these ones were horrible I don't know what the fuck happened with them but yeah this one is also pretty bad but i'll just go for this one i can just zoom it in if i want to change it and then i'll go ahead and change just add subtle raindrops on lips and skin and i'll download one of these and just save it and right now i ran out of computing seconds so i'll go ahead and make a brand new account and in my new account i obviously don't have my old project so what i'll do is i'll just import the last one that i created and import it as a reference and i'll just paste the same prompt that we used last time and see what we get this time and it's pretty similar to what i got last time so i'll just be downloading like this one right here and then i also selected an extreme close-up and eye level as the angle and the shot type and i'll paste the prompt once again and see what we get okay pretty similar results so i'll just grab this one right here and iterate that one and change the location so for the location i'll change it to a car meet in fucking let's go for south dakota rainy night and i'll just go for this one and i'll just zoom it in later so now that i got all of these i'll import them into after effects so i'll create a new project and I only have five of them, but that should be enough. I'll import them right here. And then just create a new composition with them. So now I'll select all of these images and I'll cut them all at two frames. So all of them should just be two frames long. And then I'll import them like this or kind of like stack them like this. Now all I got to do is make this one three frames long and drag down the opacity just so I can see where it's placed. And then for this one that is zoomed out, I'll just be zooming it in and placing the lips like where the other lips are so like right here so if we hide and unhide it should be looking pretty similar like that and then i'll be dragging that one back turn up the opacity once again and then i'll do the same for the next one this one right here so for the bottom one this time i'll be moving it just kind of stacking them correctly maybe sizing it up a little bit like that and then drag down the opacity or drag up the opacity back and i'll do the same for all of these five images and then we'll add on some effects and for this one and for this one right here i needed to move it like this so i have these black borders and just to get rid of them i'll add on a motion tile and drag up the output width and height while i uh, check mirror edges and we'll have something that looks good 
and then we'll be dragging up the opacity for all of them just to make sure that all of them are at 100 and then i'll set my work area right here and loop them just to see that it looks good this one is really low quality though you could use an ai to upscale this it does not have to be able to take studio because they charge to upscale your images but there are free ai websites but just for the sake of this tutorial i'll skip that but now that I have all of my images lined up correctly, I'll create a new adjustment layer on top and we can add on some effects. I'll start off with a radial blur and I'll set it like right here to the middle of the teeth and I'll drag down the amount to like six or seven, something like that. And that just spices everything up a lot better. And you can also create some cool looks by making them kind of morph together. You've probably seen something like that before and to do that, you just add on an RSMB effect and drag up the blur amount to like 1.3 so something really high and motion sensitivity to like 100 so now you can see we have this blur right here and we have that blur for every time that it switches so it looks like they're kind of morphing together and i'll turn up the blur amount to two instead let's see if that's too much you get some cool looks it's decent i'll drag it back down to one and the radial blur i'll put that to 10 actually and the radial blur, I put that on top of the RSMB, or we can drag it down to like 8, or up to 8, of course. And my PC can't even handle this shit, so I'll drag down the resolution to 3rd, just so I can play it through. Because the RSMB is pretty heavy, yeah, I'll have to turn it down a little bit. Let's go for 90. And if you want to style it a little bit, you could go for something like a black and white, by adding on a tint and then add grain. This will give a pretty cool look. You just got to change the view mode to final output. I have a pretty cool look here with the grills and everything. Matches really well with the black and white. You could also match this with a levels effect or a sapphire hotspot. They're both pretty similar. So if you want to add on something like that, you just need to select all of your images, pre-compose them, and then just duplicate this pre-composition a couple of times, up to two seconds, something like that. And then for the levels, you'll key from the histogram here at the start. And then at the end you'll drag it in so it gets a lot darker to something like this for the last frame and then we'll play it all through and see what we have and now we got something insane going on that's genuinely sick and if you do have sapphire you could use the sapphire hotspot instead of the levels it will just it will just look a little bit better in my opinion i'll hide the levels drag down the hotspot threshold to zero and then drag it up here at the end to like 0 0.3 something like this Oh, 0 0.33, I'll go for that. And just like that, we have something pretty insane. And it didn't take us like three days to create this. But it did take some effort though. But that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And like I said, my own plugin VFX kit has dropped. It looks like this. It's insane. Go and check it out. Link in the description if you want to. But that's it. See you in the next one.